Hello guys, we continue our series of creating exam project with Laravel Filament and AI and the next on our plan is question bank. And this will be an example of plan prepared up front but needs revision along the way. So for example, along the way in the previous video we decided that tags will not be existing. So we'll have only categories. And also I would like to divide that phase into two actually subtasks, the CRUD itself for tasks and also bulk import, which is quite a big separate feature. So I'm not even sure that this list is updated with the database structure. So let's prompt Claude to update the plan first. So I launch Claude in the terminal the new version 2.0.72 with long awaited reduced terminal flickering. That's great. But anyway, the prompt will be this. So I'll ask Claude to look at the plan and update the plan accordingly. I could potentially switch into plan mode for this, but let's just try to roll it like this. And in worst case, we will roll back the changes. Side note, I was talking about planning with my colleague Modestas from Laravel Daily, and he kind of reminded me that the more time you spend on planning and the more details you have like this in the plan, the better are the results from AI agent later. But this is kind of classical. The more time you spend on preparing the project from project management, discussing with the client and stuff like that, the more clarity up front, the fewer surprises when implementing the code. So same goes with AI. So we're adding more details to that plan. So phase 2B and phase 2A. So instead of that list of tasks, we have category management, question management, and then also separately question options and form validation. Great. And then to B is bulk import, which will be a separate thing. So I'm not sure in this video whether we will have time for both, but I will approve the plan. And now do you see another new feature of cloud code? I didn't type anything, but see the suggestion in the bottom left. Claude is now auto suggesting the prompts for us from the context. Cool, right? And I will actually do exactly that, but we'll switch to plan mode this time to make sure it doesn't go off the rails because the feature is pretty complex and large. But let's hit enter. Yep, as expected, start phase 2A is actually happening as a prompt. Okay, after two and a half minutes, we have a few questions from Claude. Slug field auto generated, I'm fine with that. Order field auto managed with drag and drop, also approved. Options requiring minimum two options, yes, I want to proceed with that. And for category pages, I'm fine with modal create and edit, which is simple resource in filament. So, yes, I approve that. Submit answers, and then I will provide the final plan. Okay, we have the result of the plan, which took five more minutes, but it's pretty detailed with a lot of points. So I didn't expect that deep, but I guess this is exactly what was needed here. And I want to double check everything and it seems to be good. And let's approve it to proceed. To be honest, Claude recently works pretty slowly to me. Sonnet model in Claude code not sure if it's a coincidence or something more global. So let me know in the comments if you want me to go faster and skip some parts. But yeah, it often takes minutes, what used to be seconds. But let's proceed with bypassing permissions and let's see what the code will be generated. So yeah, it was almost eight minutes until this point just for planning. Now executing the code. But again, the more time we spend on planning, the better will be the code in theory. So this is pretty huge plan and it will take probably, I would think 10 more minutes or so. So I will get back to the video after it's done or something important is happening. And I still see flickering. Not sure if you see that as well, maybe less than usual, but it's still the bug still exists. Okay, so now we're like eight minutes in that and almost done, but some tests are failing. This is typical for Sonnet model. Some tests pass, however, something is failing during two validation issues. And sometimes Sonnet leaves it as it is without fixing the test. So we will see what would be the actual final result of that. And this is what I meant in previous videos that Claude Sonnet sometimes is running in circles trying to fix the tests, which actually it succeeded apparently by changing the tests, but it took in total 20 minutes. So the last prompt is like, 
12 minutes or so and you can even see context low 7% remaining and I'm actually curious what the usage will show I may be running out of usage for this session but it finally succeeded with files created for the category then four questions and the features and it's even suggesting to start phase 2b but no it's already too much for me let's check the usage and yeah as expected 50 percent of current session is used still 50 percent left but i will not use it instead i will review the code manually in this case i was not closely following what it was doing so i will put on my developer cap and go to the code and open that in cursor but for now for this i will run clear to clear the context for future prompts now let's go to the changes and we have 15 changed files with filament and also policies and also tests first actually i want to launch that in the browser does it actually work if we refresh that we have question bank with categories and questions cool and we had something seeded so this is already in the table great if i click edit the modal as expected algorithms good new category also in the modal slug auto suggested yeah that also works but i will not create that and then questions is it a link to questions no questions is a separate thing separate menu item with images probably not working because of file system configuration but let's try to edit some question and we have text explanation and options which we can actually rearrange it seems like and then the correct answer is number two let's save the changes for example so yeah all in all it seems to be working on the surface now let's look at the code this is category resource form and table separate classes as filament 4 recommends only the list which means the model for the form looks good to me then for example category form here we have text input with automatic slug on operation create so it doesn't change on the edit which is good and a few more validation rules like max length and required and rules here it looks good to me also and then the table of categories columns text column nothing really fancy here with just default sorting maybe so a lot of the things by the way what ai is generated for filament a lot of them are personal preference which i don't really specify like default sort or validation rules or label here for example but from what i've noticed in cloud code with cloud models it's pretty good at doing that now let's see the question resource which is more complicated but still form and table separately and if we go to that form we have category select rich editor for explanation then for the options i think it's possible to use enums here directly without specifying that separately and let's actually prompt ai for that and i will show you one trick so i've opened cloud code again in the terminal relaunched to avoid that flickering and let's launch ide and previously long time ago i added cursor as ide connected to cloud code and now i see it is actually working and now we can highlight that code of options and put the prompt related to that code and my prompt is this i see enum values listed but maybe there's a chance for optimization and this is actually a personal preference the more i work with ai the more i think about kind of fundamental question so does anyone actually care about that code being a bit shorter i'm not sure so now it uses laravel boost with search docs and i hope it finds the enum optimization yes has label interface this is exactly what i meant and this is an interesting case i knew that some functionality exists but i was kind of lazy to google it out myself so yeah now it changed the options and default to just using enum directly and providing has label or get label inside of that enum to be filament ready also running the tests along the way and now in our question form we have this shorter code for select and thinking about it so this video would not get very long i will review the code manually behind the scenes and push it to the repository but i wanted to show you the example of if i see something i can reprompt cloud code or fix stuff manually 
So I guess this is enough for this video. To recap, you saw how much I spent on planning and detailizing the plan and only then asking to implement the code. And now I will spend like, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes reviewing the code. So this all process combined, I guess, gives the best result in my experience. And if you want the access to the full repository as well as videos published earlier than on YouTube. Recently on my newsletter, I launched a paid tier which have access to this tutorial. So one tutorial with all the videos listed earlier than on YouTube, as you can see video three and others. I will post them here as well as the link to repository below at the bottom of this article for paid subscribers who want to invest in my AI experiments. So I would continue them. The price for the newsletter paid tier is $8 per month or $80 per year. This is what Substack suggested me as kind of pretty standard price and I guess that is fair. So if you want that access, subscribe to my Substack. The link will be in the description below. And in the next video, we will tackle phase 2B, bulk import for questions and the plan that Claude Code prepared for us here.